Hello everyone! We are glad to present the new features included in XBench 3.0 Build 1266. We have improved the segment positioning feature with MemoQ 2014, and now you can run an XBench QA directly from a folder. You can check this out in a minute. As we saw with the previous XBench demo, XBench can interact with MemoQ, but now if you have MemoQ 2014, there is no need to create views and have active documents in order to use the handy Edit Source feature. This is the MemoQ 2014 interface. We have created a sample project containing five documents, completely translated. We need to have them exported in order to run the QA in XBench, so let's do it. We will export them in bilingual format as XLIV files. We will place them in a folder created in our current desktop. Let's call it Sample Project. We could load those files in an XBench project we might be currently using, but this time we'll do a different thing. We'd like to show you how to run a simple QA from any folder or file directory. We right-click on the folder we have just created in our desktop. Here you can see the new menu item available with this new XBench build. Run QA in XBench. An XBench instance will open and it will contain just the files of that folder loaded as ongoing translation. Nice and easy. So we can perform a quick, simple QA or even do any search on the loaded files. This is just a temporary XBench project. Here are the QA results. Let's correct the first issue shown, an inconsistency in source. With right-click Edit Source or Ctrl-E, we are directly taken to that specific segment in MemoQ. It is not necessary to have any active document as it was required in the integration for previous MemoQ versions. We correct the string and then we can go back to XBench using the Alt-Tab combination. Next issue an URL mismatch. We do the same thing. Ctrl E, a different document, opens this time. We correct the error and go back to XBench with Alt Tab. In order to see updated results on XBench, we need to do a new export from MemoQ. Then, we refresh the contents with Project Refresh Content, or F5, and perform the QA again. No more issues this time. We could even add more materials to this temporary XBench project. For example, we can add a glossary as key terms because we want to check the terminology on those files. We have this glossary in TXT format with some key terminology. We load it in the Project Properties window as key terms and perform the QA again. Now we see a couple of terminology errors and we can correct them following the same procedure. Besides this cool feature of being able to edit right in MemoQ any issues found by XBench, the XBench integration with MemoQ opens up plenty of new possibilities, such as running instantly a very quick spell checking pass on all files in a snap, or allowing you to search for segments in source or target that match regular expressions. We hope you find these new features very useful. We'll be happy to receive your feedback.